years ago, on September 15, 1966, the Sisters of the Sorrowful Mother, third order regular of St. Francis of Assisi, founded this institution. It is a norm for our sisters to go to areas where other religious congregations have never been. The reason is not for fame, but to address needs that are not being met. When our sisters came to go off, they realized that although St. John's Christian Secondary School was already established for almost two years, there were many parents who had a desire to send their children to a Catholic secondary school. And these schools were located in the city of St. George. The parents could not afford to send them because of financial challenges. After listening to the people, our sisters purchased property with buildings that were first used as a cocoa bucan and a st and stable for horses to transform into a school. Our school motto, to be a light in a dark world. We want our students to shine during the most difficult and challenging experiences. Our mission is to bring light, hope, and fuller life to others through holistic education, grounded in spiritual and moral values to help nurture competent and responsible citizens. I am the ambassador of the Vatican. I would say the, pre the personal representative, representative of, of the Pope, of Pope Francis. And the reason to be here is because the, the Pope wants to show that he's worried about what's happening in, in the whole Catholic Church. And we know it's very big, it's very important and to be aware of what's going on all over the world is not that easy. It's easier today because all the media and all the information we have access help us to, to know what's going on, what's happening in the world very soon. But to be updated about this school, for example, or what things are going on, is something only a personal meeting, a personal encounter, someone who comes in his name can refer to him about what's the beautiful school you are, you have, and how good people you are. My only advice for you is try to enjoy as much as possible this period of your life. Try to learn as much as possible what is offered to you, and try to understand how precious you are in order to, to improve your, your self-knowledge, in order to improve how beautiful you are at the eyes of the Lord, and then to understand that that beautifulness is a, an encouragement for becoming the best of you, for your good, but for the, for the good of all the, the society. guests here today, His Excellency, to receive a piece of St. Rose as we leave this with him as a reminder and an expression of gratitude for his presence here this morning.